Welp, here I go talking about another Thomas-related YouTube channel, and this time one that I've discovered quite recently compared to a lot of the others that I've talked about in the past, like Thomas One Edward Henry Two, or Mr. Ryan, or especially the Unlucky Tug. And this guy is the one, the only, Thomas Cynic. Well, there's quadrillion Thomas Cynics out there in the world, but still, the point still stands. I love this guy. He's only made how many? I can't, I don't know the exact amount, but he's only made so many videos so far. Last, the first one he made was about five months ago, and then last one he's made was about two weeks ago. And his videos are seriously great. I enjoy every last one of them. I only discovered this guy not too long ago, but he still absolutely rocks. I love his videos. I love the editing style of them. I love his voice. He's very charming and fun to watch with his videos and stuff like that. He's very funny at times. And I love the points he makes. He's very smart, very knowledgeable about Thomas, and I thank him so much for that. And, yeah, he's made so many great videos, I must say. From all the differences that happened with the Thomas and the Magic Railroad director's cut and everything like that, and his thoughts on the King of the Railway, which I admittedly disagree on. I understand his points, to be honest, but I do still enjoy King of the Railway. I think it's alright and all. Definitely canon, in my opinion. And, yeah, he really likes Hector, as you can clearly tell by his profile picture. And, yeah, Hector's a cool character, and I really like him as well. And his great big, possibly my favorite video from him, has to be his Hit Era defense. I grew up at the Hit Era as a little kid, and seeing it so expertly showcased through these various defenses of each season, regardless, however, with however they may actually be quality-wise, and talking about various different topics like the narration and the merchandise and all that kind of stuff. Really nice to see from him. And yeah, I agree on the merch as well. It's truly incredible from that time period. And videos like his Season 12 critique, his Soder's Forgotten series, like the ones on Fergus, Hero, Mavis, and Fearless Freddy, all great. The Boba vs. Miller video I really like. And his thoughts on why we need rolling stock characters and... What else? The genius of the crashes and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, his sense of humor is a lot like mine. And I really like his ranked seasons video, his top 10 episodes. And yeah, his Duke and Smudger comparison, all that good jazz. It's all really great. And it's so nice to hear such different thoughts on various topics and everything like that. And at the same time, regurgitating the things I want to hear, honestly. And yeah, I agree with a lot of this guy's points, and he's very smart and knowledgeable, and he knows as heck what he's talking about, and I appreciate that. And it's so good to see one of my favorite franchises, possibly my second, I must say, being so well appreciated by this channel, like a lot of other channels. And I've learned a heck of a lot from him, and he's given me quite a bit of inspiration when it comes to forming my whole planned, continuity-based idea soft reboot and all, because in the far future, I hope to become the next Andrew Brenner. I've brought this up with a few people on Discord, but I hope to be the person who's next in line to save Thomas. I would completely revamp the merch and help with, you know, consulting them on how to make it properly and how to make it, you know, just simply good. I would consult them on what characters to bring back and how to bring them back. I would consult them on realism and maturity and character development, and keeping things continuity-wise, and interesting pacing, instead of being super hyperactive and flashy, we all know what I'm talking about there with the stupid-ass reboot, which, don't get me started on that, and things like how to properly portray real-life events into the show, and bringing back various uh, techniques for filmmaking, and showcasing beautiful shots, and having the sets be detailed, whether they be models or through CGI, whatever it may be. And channels like The Unlucky Tug, Thomas One and Edward Two, Henry Three, and especially The Thomas Cynic, all have given me tons of inspiration, as, long, as well as all the other great people in this fandom. And it's such a shame to see some outsiders like Animat, who I do respect, completely, well not completely, slightly misconstruing the whole idea and almost represent misrepresenting the whole fandom and making them all seem like a bunch of angry whiners who just think, oh, it's just Ghostbusters reboot and all, but Thomas and all, we must hate it, we must hate it, we must hate it. 
and not really getting the point. But whatever. Honestly, outsiders need to stay away from Thomas because almost every time it happens, whether it be Thomas the Imperialist Engine or Top 10 Scary Thomas Theories or whatever, it's always leading to bullcrap and completely misrepresenting stuff to outsiders. But yeah, the Thomas Cynic... I appreciate this guy, and I really love his videos, and I hope he makes a heck of a lot more of them. So yeah, Thomas Cynic, if you're watching this, just know that you rock, and I sure as heck adore your videos. And yeah, so do a heck of a lot of other people, hopefully. I'm pretty certain I do. <laughs> so yeah, in short, Thomas Cynic really, really rocks.